Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 7, lesson 6, patterns. Page number is 513. A sequence is a list of numbers that follow a specific pattern. Each number in the list is called a term. For example, this one, 4, 8, 12, 16, and if you look at this sequence, you will find out that each time they're adding 4, right? So, uh, or you can say it's a multiplication table of 4. So, this single 4 is known as one term. This 8 is the second term, so this complete is a sequence. The dotted line indicates that the sequence continue it didn't stop here it's continue so we can ask you give us next three terms next four terms like after 16 to say 20 24 28 uh, 32 like that how many terms are asked for you uh, let's say this example here that number of floor uh, four leaf Floors 1, 2, 3, 4, and number of leaves 4, 8, 12, 16. So the pattern is same, this one, each time they're adding 4. So the rule is add 4. Now they asked us the next three terms. So after 16 plus 4, 20, then 20 plus 4, 24, and 24 plus 4, 28. So the next three terms are 20, 24, and 28. Let's move to the next page. Okay, Maria and Jong are training to run a half marathon. A half marathon is about 13 miles. Their weekly training plans are shown in the table. Use the information to write a sequence to represent each person's weekly training plan. Then compare the plans. So for Maria, she's starting miles are 2 and she's adding 2 miles per week. So for Maria, we'll keep on adding 2 with this 2. 2 plus 2, 4, then plus 2, 6, plus 2, like that. And for John, like this one, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Each time we'll add 2. The rule is plus 2 for Maria. And for John, starting is 4 and add 4 each time. So the rule is add 4 for John. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, like that. So what is the difference between them? That each week, Jung plans to run twice as many miles as Maria plans to run. So he is running twice, two times, like two times to four, two times of Maria. This one write the next three terms if you look at this sequence closely what they're doing nothing is multiplying i think nothing divide increasing so they're adding three so each time they're adding three one plus three four four plus three seven seven plus three ten ten plus three thirteen thirteen plus three sixteen and sixteen plus three nineteen so these three are the next three terms here, next page, independent practice. Guys, you have to solve all these questions by yourself. Uh, like here, they're showing you the rule. What is the rule for this sequence? Like add seven is the rule for this sequence. Divide by three is the rule for this sequence. And then the next three terms. Next three terms, these three. Okay. So you have to do all these questions by yourself and then match your answers from this video. Okay, let's move to the next page here. An amusement park offers discount tickets after 4 p.m. So after 4 p.m. the tickets 
cost is $15 and before 4 p.m. the ticket cost is $45. Uh, dollars. So if you buy the ticket before 4 p.m., one ticket is 45. You have to find out for 2, 3, and 4. 2, 90, 3, 135. Each time you're adding 45. Similarly, after 4 p.m., you'll keep on adding 15 because each ticket cost 15. So one ticket 15, two ticket 30, three 45, and four 60. Circle the sequence that does not belong with the other three. Uh, this one adding plus three, plus ten, plus five, but this one is times two. Three times two, six, six times two, twelve, twelve times two, twenty-four. So this one is different because this one is using multiplication. Uses multiplication here. How can we extend patterns? I can extend the pattern of a sequence of a numbers by determining the, what operation is done to the previous term to get the next term. Got it guys. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.